Alright guys, let's get started here. So yeah, so everybody welcome to this week's Pokemon TCG opening. And unlike the last two weeks, I actually have stuff this time. So we get we get to have a little bit more of a normal opening. So So here we go. This week we are going to be opening up the three power partnership tins, as you see right here. So, uh, I think these tins came out, I want to say, uh, probably a couple months ago. So, not too long ago, these came out. Uh, so, as you see right here, we have Mewtwo Mew. We have Lucario Melmetal. We have Garchomp and Giratina right here. And uh, we're going to open up all three of these tins. So here we go. Let's pop these open here. I mean, a couple of weeks play games. So it's going to be a play game. Wow, blanks. Thousand blank white cards means to my four. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I know, I know you do like. I know you're a big fan of uh, magic and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. First ten unwraps. There's the second ten. Yeah, Mewtwo Hype! I mean, but a lot of people like Mewtwo. It's a very, it's a very cool Pokemon. So there we go. Let's, let's open up tin. See what we got on the inside here. So let's start with Garchomp and uh, Giratina here. Okay, I do want to keep tins because I do use them for storing cards. No, oh, thank you. Fully watched the Viz? Hey, that's alright. That's alright. Hopefully you've been enjoying the videos. Alright, so first up... Okay, here we go. First code cards! There you go, that's Garchomp and Giratina for you guys. So there you go. No, oh, thank you, Math Grant. I'm glad I am your favorite Canadian Pokemon. Alright, so here we are. So this is the Garchomp and Giratina GX alternate art. Full art promo card. Yo, you're welcome. Don't worry, there are. I will be giving away more codes throughout the uh, opening. So, Garchomp and Giratina, in case you guys don't know, has Linear Attack. Attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Has Calamus Slash. If your opponent attacks a Pokemon or has any damage to counter his own, its attack does 80 more damage. On top of the 160. And then its G GX move, GG ends. Discard one of your opponent's Pokemon or cards attached to it. 
This Pokemon has at least three extra fighting energy attached to it. Discard two of your opponent's Pokemon instead. So, so that's Garchomp Giratina. We also get a nice GX Tag Team little marker here. Which are actually metal and actually look really nice. Oh boy, welcome back, Prime Enforcer. Yeah, it has been a while. Woo! Hopefully you've been doing well. Alright, so each tin will have four packs. We have two unified minds. A Lost Thunder and an Evolutions pack. Yo, welcome back, Borgs. Yeah, unfortunately, my friend. My friend is not here. She has been, you know, busy taking care of stuff. You know, unfortunately. She can't be here for every opening. No, if she was here for every opening, that would be fantastic, but... Fortunately, you can't get everything you want. Hey, good to see you back, Morgs. Hopefully you've been having a great weekend. Everything is going well with you. Meanwhile, another code for you guys! This time, this is Lucario and Melmetal for you guys to get. And here we are. We have the Lucario and Melmetal alternate art promo card here. Take a nice, good look. I know how Math Grant's a big fan of uh, Lucario, so this one's for you. So it has Steel Fist for 50 damage. Search your deck for a metal energy card attached to this Pokemon on the shelf of your deck. It has Heavy Impact for 150 damage. And it's GX move, Full Metal Wall. For the rest of this game, your metal Pokemon takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. This Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it. Discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So that's Lucario and Melmetal. And yes, you know, of course, people are, uh... People are participating in that No Nuts November. So, you know, for those of you participating in that, no, nope. best of luck to you. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, now for the last tip. <laughs> oh boy, Prime. Oh no. I, I might participate. Who knows if I will. So here we are. This one is Mewtwo and Mew. 
who are the main tag team in Unified Minds. So there you go, guys. And then here is Mewtwo and Mew. The alternate art promo card. By the way, I really like this artwork. You can just kind of see Mewtwo right here. He's like, Oh, really? Pokemon had to give me him as tag team partner? <laughs> this one is honestly probably one of my favorite uh, full art cards in Pokemon. Just really for Mewtwo's expression in the artwork. It's, it's just awesome. Alright, so Mewtwo and Mew GX, for those of you guys are wondering. Has the perfection ability. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX on your bench or in your discard pile. Still need necessary, necessary energy to use each attack. This GX move, Miraculous Duo, this, which does 200 damage. If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it, heal all damage from all of your Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. So yes, that is Mewtwo Mew GX. Put you there. There's our packs. Got our super awesome marker. Garbage on the floor. Heap tin. I've been using to store cards. And all right, so here we are. So, of course, we can't stop at only 12 packs. We gotta do our usual 36. See, we have more evolutions, more Lost Thunder, and of course, more Unified Minds. So, I'll just put these in a nice pile. And here we go, guys. So, everybody watching, place your bets on who is going to get the best tin. It's going to be Garchomp Giratina, Kario Melmetal, or Mewtwo and Mew. Do I do sleepovers with subs? Uh, unfortunately, no. Cause, well, right now I don't really have any subs, but eh, it's all right. It's not gonna stop me from not streaming. All right, so here we go. So we're going to start with Evolutions first, then we go to Lost Thunder, then you find Minds. So here we go, Evolutions. So this was last set in the XY series. Chance to pull... Chance to pull, chance to pull a Charizard card. I know you guys like, like Charizards, so... So, who knows? Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get a Charizard or two out of here. Actually, I did open a few of um, a few evolutions packs in the in the thirty six random pack opening. I think a couple weeks ago. So it actually hasn't been too too long, but it has been a little bit. All right, here we go. First reverse hollow, we have Drowsy. And first rare card is a Dugon, non-hollow rare. 
But it, it is actually awesome. Every time, every time I open up Evolutions, it is just awesome to always see like the original, like base set artworks. Who here in chat has opened up, you know, the original base set from, you know, way back in 1999? You know, who remembers, you know, way back when, you know, Pokemon cards first came over to America? You know, everybody wanted to pull a Charizard. So remember back then, if you pulled the Charizard, you were considered the coolest kid on the block. And I think I do, I think I do remember, I actually one time did have, I had a, I had a, sh I had a unlimited shadowed Charizard from the base sets. I believe I, I also had one, I also had a base set two Charizard as well. Um, unfortunately, I do not have those anymore. But, yeah, maybe one of these days, if I get around to, you know, collecting some of the older cards, Maybe once again. Oh, hey! Our first secret rare. Or I should say, secret rare. Because in this set, they're actually not so secret. So here, or this is Here Comes T Rocket. Of course, original artwork from the first Team Rocket set. It actually, it actually has the original effect. Each player turns all his or her prize cards face up and they remain face up for the rest of the game. So that's the original Here Comes Steam Rocket effect. It's very nice. Oh! Two secret rares in one pack. Let's go. So here is Surfing Pikachu. One of the old Wizards promo cards from way back when. So that is awesome. Oh, and we get a reverse rare with Electro. Man, what a pack this is. Dude, this is a pack we got going here. And a hollow rare Clefairy. Wow. Let's go, guys. That is four solid hits in one pack. That's what we're talking about right here. So there you go. Fairy. Obviously, is a fairy type now. Way back when, it would have been Carlos type. Because way back when, there was no such thing as, well, fairy type. Pokemon cards. Since they didn't actually come out till XY base sets. <laughs> uh, I will when when I open up the uh, the last evolution pack. I will give away the the code in that pack, but I do I do mostly I do keep most of the codes. On the off chance that I you know want to get into the online game, which may or may not happen, who knows. Is it's actually been such a such it's been such a long time since I last even played the actual card game. I 
Like you, like you have to go back to like, like the end of, like the end of the um, the end of Gen Three was the last time I played the card game. Yeah, true. Collecting in real life is a little bit more expensive, but... But at the same time, there is a lot more satisfaction into having, like, the real thing and having pulled the real thing. As opposed to just, uh, just pulling one online. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, like, pulling one online still, still pretty awesome. But, I don't know, there's just something about the re having the real thing. That it just, it feels so much better. Uh, yes, right, your knight. I did give away the promo codes that I found each to know already. But if you go back, if you go back through this, through the uh, the stream, you might be able to still get them, depending on whether or not the other people in uh, in chat have got them already or not. Ooh, reverse hollow Mewtwo, very nice. That is a reverse rare. Believe it's only a believe it's a non hollow rare in this set. But still, reverse rare, very nice. And a Pidgeot EX, very nice. That is our first ultra rare card. One of hopefully many we're going to pull here. So that is awesome. Pidgeot EX. With mirror move. This Pokemon is damaged by attack during your opponent's last turn. This attack does the same amount of damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And then Fairlands for 80 damage. It also does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's Pidgeot EX. Yo, thanks, Summer. Alright, so that's our Evolutions packs. Now on to the tins. So here we go. Who do you think is going to get the best? Evolutions pack here. Place your bet. Start now. Uh, let's start with Garchomp and Giratinas. Let's see what these guys got. Here we go. So Garchomp and Giratina has. Oh, well, it's got a Pikachu. Everybody loves Pikachu. Okay, no secrets. Ooh! A reverse hollow Mew! That is a hollow rare reverse hollow. Very nice. Uh, definitely not, not the most expensive, uh, reverse holo, but it's definitely one of the more valuable ones. So that is awesome. And a holo rare Nino King! Sweet! Very nice, two solid hits in one pack. 
Gotta love that. All right. All right, so Garchomp and Giratina did pretty well. All right, let's see here. Let's go with Cario and Melmetal. Let's see what these guys got. All right, Garchomp, Giratina, strong start. So we only, we only got a couple more chances to maybe pull a Charizard. Um, trying to think if we can get one. Oh, hey, another secret rare. Awesome. So here we are, the the bilingual executor secret rare. I think originally how you could get this. I think it was in like one of the Japanese magazines from like way back in the late nineties that you could get this in. Very nice. You can see both the Japanese and English text on there. Alright, so we got Reverse Dodoro and uh, just more bees. Alright, so there we go. So Lucario, Melmetal got Seeker Rare. So here we go, last evolutions pack here, guys. Everybody get ready. Because we're going to be giving away this code. And here we go. There is your XY Evolutions code for the stream. Let's see who gets it. Oh, you got one of the 10 codes? Nice. Good job on snagging one of those thin codes. Right, you. Alright. Ooh, a reverse hollow double colorless energy. Very nice. Again, one of the more valuable reverse foils. And generally. Reverse Foil Energy Cards. This one and Basic Energy ones tend to actually be worth uh, at least several bucks. So that is awesome. That is a good Reverse Hollow. And another Hollow Rare Nitto King. Very nice. Yes, you can go onto my Twitch page under videos. And you can go back. Go back through the live stream that's happening right now. And watch anything you have missed. You can watch. You can watch past streams up and. Uh, for like the last couple weeks or something before they go away and And all highlights that I make uh, You guys can watch anytime you want At least until I decide to delete them for whatever reason But yes Yes, you can go back and watch stream whatever you miss and All that good stuff all right, so here we go. Next set, Lost Thunder. Um, pulled actually a lot of good stuff from Lost Thunder. Let's 
So I think I think a card that I would actually like to pull in Lost Thunder would be what what's a good secret I could pull from this set? Um what is in the set? I guess I guess Secret Rare Zero Aura would be a good one. Cause I know I've pulled I know I've pulled the Blacephalon secret, I've pulled the Alola Ninetale secret. Which are which are both which are both good secrets. I wouldn't mind pulling any of those again. I think zero ore would be the next big one I could go for. All right, so first reverse hollow of Lost Thunder is a Sealax, which is a reverse rare. So very nice. And it's the correct rare. Spell tag. Let's go. <laughs> Rip in pieces, have phone users. <laughs> Dude, look at that first Lost Thunder pack, and we get a secret room. Very nice. Yeah, see, Raichu Knight knows knows what to do. He's ready for the, whatever big pulls we get, just like this one. So there we go. Secret rare spell tag. This one is when a psychic Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from opponent's attack. Put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. In any way you like. Just in case you wonder what spell tag does, that's what it does. And you gotta love the background, the gold. Always so pretty. All right. All right, well, we're doing good, guys. We have our secret rare for the opening. Now, let's see if we can get full art. That would be pretty awesome. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Like, can you, can you guys believe that it is November already? Like, 10 months of the year now is gone. I mean, we only got two, well, less than two months now before we, uh, we enter the 20s of the new millennia. It's kind of amazing how, like, this year has just been flying by. Like, what, what do you guys think? What do you guys think in chat, you know? Does it really feel like that each year goes by, you know, feels like it goes by quicker and quicker than the last one? Because, to me, that's what it feels like. Seems like... Seems like time just goes faster and faster. Even though, really, it just goes at the same speed. For whatever reason, 
at least to me, it feels like as we get older, it feels like time just goes faster. I guess for uh, some of you guys that have not uh, uh, seen the stream in a little while, uh, I did get better internet. So I'm definitely able to stream at a much higher bit rate than before. And uh, have the stream be mostly stable. Right, you and I, of course, knows all about this because I've said it all, said you know all about it to him already. But I know some of you guys that have been here, Borgs, Prime Forcer, and other people might not have known that. So. You know, definitely the internet upgrade has been pretty nice. Uh, only downside is that I can't, like, my laptop can't quite do 60 FPS streams just yet. So, maybe if, uh, one of these times I end up saving a little bit of money up. Could maybe win. Maybe maybe get a, a gaming laptop. That will be more than capable of doing 60 FPS streaming. And when I say that, we, we get our first Lost Thunder Hollow Rare with Tapu Bulu. So yes, uh, the four Tapu Island Guardians are in Lost Thunder, so that's one of them. Of course, the other ones being uh, Lele, Coco, and Feeny. They are also in here. Yeah, and honestly, honestly, the internet upgrade just feels so nice. You know, we're not plagued by really slow internet anymore. We're not plagued by the internet cutting in and out constantly. As was the old internet was doing recently to us. Which was definitely a pain deal with <laughs> but we don't have those issues anymore and <laughs> very nice getting a full art Lugia GX very nice I, I actually no, we have pulled this full art before, but always very, very nice to pull another one once again. So Lugia GX, in case you guys don't know, has Psychic. Attacks us 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. And it also has Pelagic Blake. Uh, let me try that again. Pelagic Blade. Because sometimes English is hard, I know. 470 damage. And this Pokemon can't use Pelagic Blade during your next turn. And then his GX move, Lost Purge. Pretty, 
You put your opponent's active Pokemon on all cards attached to it in the Lost Zone. That is Lugia GX. Very nice. So there we go. We, we're actually doing pretty good so far. Got We got regular Ultra. We got Full Arts. And we got a Secret. We're doing good, guys. It's RNG is pretty good. Alright. So. Uh... I believe it was Garch. It's hard to tell. I think it was Garchomp and Giratina that had the best evolutions pack. Not by much, but I think they did. So let's see who has the best Lost Thunder pack. We're gonna start with Lucario and Mel Metal. Let's see what these guys got. Guys, holding. Oops, we guys holding your tin. Oh, there's a low and dike trail. Got the flow. Professor Adams lecture. One of the more valuable trainer cards of the set. Reverse Hall of and to <coughs> arts. There we go. This time it is Suicune that is coming to the party for Full Arts. Dude, that is... I think that is back-to-back. -back. I'm pretty sure that's back-to-back -back packs with Full Arts in it. That's really... That is really good. Wow. Well, needless to say, the Lost Thunder has been found in these packs tonight. Alright, here we go, Sweet Coon GX. With the Phantom Winds ability. Once during your turn before you attack, this Pokemon is on your bench. You may shuffle it and all cards attached to it into your deck. Also has Cure String for 120 damage. During your opponent's next turn, if any Pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage. Then his GX move, Brinnacles for 150 damage. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. So there you go, that is Suicune GX. And that is our second full arts. Wow. All right. All right. Well, me too, me. You're up next. What do you got in your boost pack? I don't know about you guys, but I think, uh, so far, uh, Lucario and Malmato have the, uh, the best tin thus far. You know, Evolutions, you know, each of the tag teams had a little something something, but definitely Lucario and Malmato. I quite the sump something in Lost Thunder. Meanwhile, Mewtwo and Mew has a Hollow Rare Giratina. So that's pretty awesome. So it seems like there's a little something something in every pack in these tins so far.
Alright, here we go. Last Lost Thunder pack. Speaking of Giratina, this is Garchomp Inns. Giratina's pack. And here we go. There is your Lost Thunder code for you guys to try and snatch. Good luck to whoever gets it. Hopefully you get something good out of there. Alright, here we go. Last Lost Thunder pack. Let's see what we get. Will Gurchop, Giratina have anything good? Yes, okay, it's a little something something. Reverse Zeb Striker. Or a rare reverse hollow, so that's pretty good. And a hollow rare shaman. Alright. That is pretty nice, so just like with evolutions. All three tins having a little something something. But in this case it was Ricardo Melmetto who had quite the something something. Alright guys, here we go. So we have I think one of this is eighteen packs? Yeah, 12, yeah, 12 and 6, yeah, it's 18. So we have 18 packs of Unify Minds. Can we pull a Secret Rare Mewtwo and Mew out of here? That is the goal. Try. I'm not sure what, what the value of the Secret Rare Mewtwo and Mew is. Though, if I had to guess, it's Probably, it's probably still at least a hundred dollar card right now. I think I'll actually give away, I'll give away a couple codes of Unified Minds. So, we'll give one away after the Ninth Unify Minds pack, and then of course we'll give another one away for the last pack. All right, so here we are. Our first reverse hollow of Unify Minds. We have Gibble and a Tabu Fini. Non hollow rare, but we did get one of the island guardians. That's not too bad. So yeah, being that it is November now, that actually means only only a couple more months until AJQ 2020. I'll be heading out to Orlando, Florida, which for me will actually be pretty exciting because I've never been to Florida before, having. Disney World and all that stuff. And of course, you know, as always, always looking forward to meeting up with all all the gamer pals again. Playing our our favorite games. Lots of games of all kinds. Games we've probably never heard of before, and all that, all that jazz. 
it's all it's always a great time at the GDQs just to be able to meet up with everyone again, just have fun for the week. But then of course, you know, I'll actually be I actually do have a run in AGQ 2020. I'll be playing a little bit of Tetrasphere for you guys. Meanwhile, we have an ultra rare Aerodactyl. Very nice. Our first ultra rare from Unify Minds. Uh. I don't think it's one of the, I think it's one of the lesser valuable ones, but still pretty nice pull in ultra rare. I think Aerodactyl is only worth like maybe two or three bucks. So it has the Primal Winds ability. As long as this Pokemon is the active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon attacks cost one colorless energy more. It also has Boulder Crush for 120 damage. And its GX move, Wild Dive. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So there you go, that is Aerodactyl GX. Very nice, Ultra. Alright, here we go. So yeah, I'm pr I'm actually very, very excited to be able to perform a speedrun on the HDQ stage for the first time. Because I've been trying to get my game into HDQ since 2015, and... Definitely there have been many tries to finally get one in, but 2020 was the year I finally got one in. So I'm definitely very excited for that. Uh, reverse Tapu Koko, that's a rare reverse holo, very nice. And a holo rare Galissapod. Very nice. I believe that's our f yes, this is our first hollow rare for Unified Minds. Very nice. So yeah, so yeah. For the past little while, I've been doing, been playing a, uh, a bunch of Tetris, Tetrisphere, kind of playing all the modes to try to improve all my times in the game. Though I do have to get back, do have to get back into Puzzle Challenge because. Uh, the winner's semifinals, uh, my match is actually this weekend, so, I do have to get back into the groove of, of Puzzle League, so that I at least have a chance to win my match, because... I'm facing is a really formidable opponent. So, so this week definitely going to need to be to practice up. Make sure I'm in tip-top shape for at least having a chance to. Uh, you know, win my match, and 
move on to winners finals in the upcoming puzzle ch in the puzzle challenge tournaments you know definitely definitely do not want to be going into my match cold cuz then I won't really have much of a chance to win. But hey, you know, regardless of how much I practice, the match is well, match is gonna happen how it's gonna happen. You know, obviously the goal is to win, but you know that has to be. While there is a while there must be a winner, there is obviously gotta be someone else that is well not gonna win, but. Oh well. Alright, so. Not this pack, but the next pack. We're gonna be giving away a Unified Minds code for you guys. So, everybody watching, better get ready for the next pack. Get ready to. Snatch that code. And unfortunately, you cannot recycle the codes. Once you use it once, it's kind of used up. Reverse. Oh, that's a reverse rare. Reverse Galantula. Very nice. And. <laughs> this is a beautiful art. This time it is Misty's favor, and that that is actually some beautiful artwork, right there. All the hearts, Misty giving the wink to the person holding the card. That is, that is actually a very. Very beautiful looking full art. That is awesome. So there we go, Misty's Favor. This one is search your deck for up to three supporter cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. There we go, that is Misty's Fever Full Art. Oh baby, man, so many good pulls tonight. Got a secret, a few full arts, a few ultras. Oh yeah, we're getting the goods. You'd love to see it guys. Alright, you guys are all ready? Here we go. So that'll be the first of two Unified Minds codes. That will be giving away to you guys. So good luck to whoever gets it. Maybe, just maybe, you'll get that elusive Mewtwo and Mew. That is in this set. So yes, after this pack we'll be halfway through. Unified Minds packs. Ooh, another reverse rare. We got Scrafty this time. Very nice. And... <coughs> Holy cow! 
what is happening? That is pack to back packs once again with a full art card. So first it was Lost Thunder, now it is Unified Minds doing its thing. So here we are, Dragon Knight GX. This one has Dragon Claw for 130 damage. Also has Sky Judger for 270 damage. We have to discard 3 energy from this Pokemon. And this GX move, Monk Delivery. You can discard any number of cards from your hand until you have 9 or fewer. Draw cards until you have 10 cards in your hand. So of course, Mock Delivery doesn't do any damage, but it is major draw power. And, you know, sometimes when you, you know, play training card games like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, so on and so forth, uh, having a deck with a lot of draw power can actually be really, really good. Because obviously the more cards you have in your hands, the more options you have available on what you want to do. And, you know, that's probably, you know, also explains why, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Band lists and Limited lists have some of the, you know, more popular uh, draw power cards, you know, either outright bands or limited in some way. Because, you know, players will, you know, probably find a way to just spam Pot of Greed over and over again. You know, draw like 20 cards at one time. And then, you know, start doing Wombo Combos. Yep, draw power certainly is a great thing to have in trading card games. Alright. So here we are, pretty soon me seeing who has the better Unified Minds packs in their tins. And then of course we will determine the winner of what tag team has the best tin overall. Oh, by the way, Alone Raichu, that is... I think it's a Hollow Rare Reverse Hollow, I'm not sure, but it's, it's at least a Rare Reverse Hollow. That I know for sure. And, oh, speaking of Raichus, here's a couple more Raichus for you. So here we are, we have Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX tag team. Raichu, Raichu Knight, if you are still watching, we have just pulled three of you in one single pack. Polygon, Polygon, a little crazy, you know, seeing triple just now. <laughs> Alright, so Raichu and Alolan Raichu with Tandem Shock. This Pokemon was on the bench, became your active Pokemon this turn. This attack does 80 more damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is not paralyzed. And it's GX move, Lightning Ride. Switch this Pokemon with 1 through bench Pokemon. 
This Pokemon has at least two extra lightning energy attached to it. This attack does a hundred more damage. Oh yeah, that, that is kind of true. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it is... It is just past 11 o'clock over here, so... You know, people people do have to sleep, you know. Sleep is, is important. You know, gotta be... Gotta be well rested for... You know, the next day. You know, whether... You know, whether it's, you know... Like most of us who have to... Get up in the morning, go to work... Work an eight hour shift... Or... You know, whatever it is that you're doing... You know, for a living, gotta be well rested. You know, you know, having you know, sleep, sleep is good. And uh, you know, definitely, if you're well rested, you got energy, then you can do pretty much anything. But then again, if you don't sleep, if you don't have energy, then, you know, then, you know, you gotta start drinking the coffee, gotta find other means of energy, alright guys, so now, it's time to find out who has the Better Unified Minds packs, and, who has the best tin overall? So we'll start with Need to and Muse. Unified Minds packs. So far, Cario and Melmetal have the best tin so far. You know, with its Lost Thunder pack having a full art. In it, but we'll see if in the end they will actually have the best tin of the bunch. Because you never know, the other two tag teams, Mewtwo Mew, Garchom Giratina, can potentially have something really, really good. Okay, so Mewtwo Mew's first pack was a dud. Let's see what their second pack has. Alright, here we go. Last chance for Mewtwo and Mew. Make a bid for the best tin of of the three tag teams. Oh, well, there's a Gabite, which evolves into a Garchomp. Okay, reverse Murkrow. And oh yeah, speaking of Garchomp, here's a Garchomp. It's like it's like I just called a Garchomp in a pack. So there we go. There we go, working them psychic powers of Mewtwo's. Calling the Garchomp in the pack. Alright, so. Uh, Mewtwo and Mew had something. In their Unified Minds packs, they will not have the best tin. So, here we are, moving on to Garchomp and Giratina's. 
Your five minds packs. Let's see what these guys got. Their first pack has. Oh, there's Ryolu, Javals into Lucario. Maybe now I might have pulled Lucario, now that I said Lucario. Ooh, reverse holo type of Fini. That's a rare reverse holo. Very, that's very nice. Oh, well. There was a chance, but no. Just in Scavalier. That would that would that would have been so that would have been so awesome. That would have been so weird. And so amazing. Just keep calling the rare cards in each pack. And everybody try to be like, You should go buy a lottery ticket. You're so lucky. Alright. So here we go. Garchomp Giratina second pack. Let's see what they got. Kinda need something good in this pack. If you wanna make a badge. Here we go, Lowen Grimer. And all right, a secret rare slowpoke in Psyduck. Very nice. So Garchomp and Giratina holding a secret rare. So they now have the best tin thus far. Alright, so here we go. Slowpoke Sonic GX with Ditch and Splash. This card, any number of supporter cards from your hand. This attack does 40 damage for each card you discard in this way. And it's GX move thrilling times. Flip a coin if it has. This attack does a hundred more damage. This Pokemon has at least six extra water energy attached to it. Flip ten coins instead, and this attack does a hundred more damage for each head. Essentially, this means that that attack can actually do. Up to a thousand and ten damage. If you get all ten heads. But of course, you'd really. You'd really only need to really get three heads out of ten to basically knock out really any. Like any Pokemon Tag Team GX. So on and so forth, that's even in the game. So. It's kind of overpowered in that sense. Alright. So, right now, Garchomp Giratina has the best tin so far, thanks to that secret rare. Now, let's see if Lucario and Mel Metal. Can have anything good in their Unified Minds packs. Alright, here we go. It's their first pack. Not gonna lie, we have done actually very well in this opening. Two secrets so far. And another reverse rare! We have Gumshoes! And 
Secret rare. This time it is Aerodactyl GX. And let's go, guys. That's back to back packs with a secret rare in it. That's a big pog right there, everybody. You love to see it. So there we go, Aerodactyl GX Secret Rare. Very nice. So there we go. It is official. Lucario Malmato, congratulations. You guys have the best tin of the opening. And yet, they still got one pack to go! Well, let's see what is in their last pack. And this, of course, will be the last code we are giving away. And there we go. Uh, that is the last code we're giving away for this opening, so good luck to whoever gets that code. Alright, here we go. Last pack. Could we maybe, just maybe, get some last pack magic out of here? Alright, so last reverse hollow we have Wimpod. Which actually does evolve to Glissapod, which you pulled earlier. Oh, it's just a Scrafty. But that's alright. We have actually done. We've actually done really well with uh, these packs here, so. Really cannot complain about any of the pulls that we've that we've gotten. Oh, bad luck on the codes. Well, sorry to hear that, Raichu, but there is, of course, will always be next time. All right, guys. So here we go. Let's do the recap. We're gonna recap all of the polls that we have gotten. So here we go. We're gonna start with evolutions for our reverse hollows. We had double colorless energy, Brock's grit, drowsy, electro, star you, Rattata, me too, Mew, and Dodobo. For our secret rares, we had Executor, Surf Pikachu, and here comes Team Rocket. For our hollow rares, we had two Nino Kings and Clefairy. And for one ultra rare, we had the Pidgeot EX. So that's what we had in Evolutions. Alright, now on to Lost Thunder. Four reverse foils we had. Steelix. Litwick, Loritar, Cutie Fly, Lone Volpix, Fairy Charm, Groval, Combi, Zepstrika. For our Hollow Rares, we had Shaman, Giratina, and Tapu Bulu. 
for our ultra rare full arts, we had Suicune and Lugia. And our one secret rare, the spell tag. So that was Lost Thunder. And now on to Unified Minds. And quickly organize. Alright, here we go. Unified Minds. So, reverse foils. We had Badoof, The Barrel, Gibble, Tap Coco, Carablast, Execute, Poipol, Galantula, Scrafty, Thunderous, Lolan Raichu, Pokemaniac, Metadite, Murkrow, Tapu Fini, Long Grimer, Gumshoes, and Wimpod. For our Hollow Wares, we had Garchomp and Galissapod. Regular Ultra Rares, we have Raichu and Lolan Raichu and Aerodactyl. Full Arts, Dragon Knight and Misty's Favor. And last but not least, our secret rares, Aerodactyl and Slowpoke and Psyduck. So yes, everybody, that is the end of this actually pretty amazing Pokemon TCG opening we had tonight. All the full arts, all the secrets, all the other good stuff we got. Gotta say, really good opening we got. So yes, um, you know, be sure to look out for me for you know this week. I'll try to, you know, get back into the swing of things for puzzles and whatnot. You know, being that, you know. Pokemon Puzzle Challenge tournaments, you know, is uh, getting closer to completion. So, gotta get back into swinging things for that game. So, yeah, anyways, thank you everybody for watching tonight. And until next time, everybody, have a great night. Take care. And I will see you guys next time.